Hey guys, this is Theo Joe Tech. Now, you can go to any store and find clocks that automatically set themselves, whether they're called an atomic clock or a radio clock, but they all claim that it will be accurate within one second for millions of years. But a lot of these are just dirt cheap. So how can such a cheap clock be so accurate? Now these clocks are actually as accurate as they advertise, but it's not because of any piece of special tech within the clock itself. You see, these clocks all have radio receivers in them which receives a time signal so that they know exactly what time it is at all times. But where does this signal come from? You might have heard of something called the NIST, National Institute for Standards in Technology in Boulder, Colorado. And this institute is what keeps track of the official time for the United States. And the way they do this is they have a physical measurement laboratory that has an atomic clock and it's called a cesium fountain atomic clock and this type of clock is accurate to one second for 300 million years and the NIST has a radio station that broadcasts out the exact time every minute it broadcasts the year the day the hour and the minute as well as whether it's daylight savings time or not at the time you can also see this time on time.gov it's a little bit of an outdated looking website, but it will give you the exact official time. Another interesting thing about this radio signal is that it's broadcasted at 60 kilohertz. A frequency this low can travel very, very far. It can actually cover all of the United States and even into other parts of Canada and Mexico. The NIST has a big radio station with four or five towers that broadcast all across the continent. And radio frequencies this low are always reserved for either government or scientific purposes because they are so useful at having long range communication. And it's a lot lower frequency than say AM radio, which is about 500 kilohertz or more. However, this low frequency does mean it's a very slow data rate. So when they send out this time signal, it takes about a full minute to send out the whole signal because it's so slow even though it's so little information. So if you do get one of these clocks and set it up, it's probably not going to be an instant setting. It might take at least a minute because it's gonna miss the first one and then take a full minute to get the next one. Or it could take even longer if it's a poor signal. It's estimated that there are about 50 million devices using this radio signal, anything from wall clocks, to clock radios, to even wristwatches, can have a little radio signal and take advantage of that true atomic clock. So next time you buy a cheapo clock at Walmart or wherever, and it sets itself and claims it's super accurate, you can now know how that can be possible. So I hope you guys found this interesting. You can talk about it more in the comments section. I'm looking forward to hearing what you guys think about this. If you liked the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up so I know that you did enjoy it. And if you want to check out some other videos, those can be on the right hand side. You can either click them or look in the description for the same link, such as if you're on a phone. If you want to subscribe, I try to make new videos three times a week, so it should be worth it. And you can hit me up on Twitter. I'm always on Twitter, especially after I release a new video. So thanks for watching, guys. I look forward to hearing from you. See you next time. Have a good one.